culture go over like it did? I mean, what were you? Uh, I mean, it's a rivalry game, you know. Um, didn't really think too much about it. Obviously, um, you know, didn't mean to disrespect the, this organization or, or Coach Peterson, but, um, you know, I just got a lot of confidence in our guys, confidence in myself um, going into this game and you know, ready to play. Doug said he talked to you. What was his message in the um, He just was, he just, um, I just apologized because obviously I put him in a hard spot, um, but yeah, that was really it. Does it put a lot of pressure on you, Kamu? Um, not really. I feel like, um, you know, like I said, we're confident in our, in our guys, confident in ourselves, and um, in this team, and, and our ability to um, go into this game. So, you know, we're ready. Kamu, you, you apologized to, to who? Huh? Who did you apologize to? Uh, to Doug. Oh, to Coach Doug, Doug okay. yeah. But, um, did you tell him it was like the heat of the moment type of thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, he yeah. understands. You know, like I said, it's a big rivalry. Um, we all know that. And um, it's just going to be a great game. How much do you think things like that really come into play once you start to play the game Sunday afternoon? The things comments, like what? The comments. How much do we need to back I don't think it, I don't think it matters. You've never known you to say anything like that. Yeah. Hook that into you. Um, like I said, it's just it's just a big week. Um, we got a lot, we got a lot going on um, going into this week, and like I said, we're just confident in ourselves, confident, ready to play. What have your teammates been like? Have, they, have you felt their support? Yeah, for sure. That was what I was going to Yeah. When you say to it, is, is there maybe a little swagger back on this football team the last couple of games? Yeah, I think that's that's really what it is going into it. Um, you know, obviously, um, everything everything. Um, is going to be on the field um, and how and how we play. That's going to be our main swagger. But you know our confidence levels um, high. We know what we can do as a team, and, and like I said, we're ready to play. How, how prepared are you to kind of be the, I guess, and for lack of better words, the target on Sunday as a result of the comments you made earlier this week? I'm not too worried about it. How much are you looking forward to getting after Zeke and that Cowboys offense on Sunday? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we know what we're up against. We know, we know what it is. Uh, obviously, division rival. And uh, we, we just ready to go play, man. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, ain't nothing else to be said. We got to play. You saw them only a couple of weeks ago. What can you take from that meeting and apply it to Sunday? Um, obviously, a lot of things, man. There's a lot of things. We A couple of plays that got away from us in that game. So we know a lot of things they're going to come out schematically and try to do some of those same type of scheme plays on us. And, um, we got to be ready for it. Zeke had 151 yards, two touchdowns in that first game. What's the game plan to try to slow him down this time around? Uh, so that first game, we felt like we, we didn't do a great job of tackling him. Uh, we felt like we had opportunities to make the plays, and he broke some tackles. So got to do a better job of tackling this time. That's something that's improved, do you feel like, the last couple of weeks? Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely improved. I think you've seen it uh, from, the, from the week since then. It's been improving. So. Dak runs a very efficient offense, but he can make damage with his legs as well. How important is it trying to contain him while trying to deal with Zeke and Amari Cooper and the other weapons they have? Uh, well, it's easy for us, man. We just let our front handle it. Uh, we know what these, those guys are, are capable to do up there. Uh, so they'll be able to control the game and, and be able to get a lot of pressure on him and try to keep him in the pocket and keep him contained. Do they look like a different team than the one you saw in November? I mean, I mean, not really. Uh, they're using Amari a, a, a lot more. Uh, I mean, things like that, obviously, they look different in, in doing things like that. Uh, but as far as schematically, the, the scheme is pretty much the same, but other than using Amari a lot more. What do you guys as a defense need to do differently to have a better result than last year? Tackle better. Uh, I felt like we just missed a lot of tackles in our game, man. And that's what it was. I, uh, we was in position to make plays, and we just missed tackles. Was it was it mean that a couple of weeks ago you guys were kind of at four and six and struggling, and now you're playing for first place in the division? Uh, I mean, it's everything. I mean, our season is obviously here. Uh, I mean, obviously, I mean, we, that's where we were weeks ago. Um, the important thing we are where we are now, and we gotta we gotta focus on this opportunity and make the most of it. Is there a feeling that no matter what's happened right now, and it hasn't been the first 12 games you may have wanted, but it's still right in front of you? Oh, yeah. I mean, we know what's here. Uh, that's, that's the point of being a resilient crew. Uh, I mean, our back against the wall, and we know how to, we know how to fight. Carries, um, 
how did you feel Tuesday morning? How would you describe the way you felt? Sore. Yeah, yeah we just played a played a Monday night game, um, and we had a few more games to get ready for this game coming up. I mean, practices, so, you know, a little sore. How, did you get that kind of workload at Notre Dame back-to-back weeks? Was it? Was yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it comparable to the way you feel now versus, versus that? Uh, it's a little different, but I mean, obviously that was a, um, you know, great time for me to learn, and it was, you know, kind of how I got used to, you know, this now. So I got a lot of good experience at Notre Dame. Josh, as a kid growing up here, what, what did the Eagles Cowboys games mean to you as a kid growing up? Uh, it's a fight. I mean, that's how I know it. That's from what I've seen growing up, and. You know, watching your parents and other people, how they look at the game, it, it's always been a fight, so um, it's nothing different. The music and everything, how, how, is the swagger back a little bit? You hear the music and what's going on with this team. Is the swagger back in this locker room? Um, well, I don't know, you know, how things were in the past. It's, you know, my first year, but uh, I, I definitely feel like everybody, you know, got a little swagger. Um, we're just you know, meshing and, and growing right now. So I think everybody's really enjoying that, enjoying the process, and uh, not taking anything for granted, just enjoying the moment that we have. You talk about that fight of the Eagles-Cowboys robbery. How does it feel to be a major part of that now? Because, it, I mean, for the Eagles to win on Sunday, you're probably going to have to have a running game. It's probably going to have to have a good, healthy balance. Uh, I mean, I'm blessed to be a part of this organization. Um, obviously, everybody knows uh, what we have to do, you know, come Sunday. It's no surprise. Um, and I think everybody is excited, you know. Another opportunity for us um, to get better and to go down there and prove ourselves, you know, for each other. So uh, I think everybody's confident in each other, and we're uh, excited to get down there and play some ball. How much more comfortable are you getting personally? Uh, I just think with experience, you know, I get a little bit more comfortable, you know, from where I started off at to where I'm at now, just um, getting reps in practice and kind of trying to work on my craft and work on my game. It just comes with time. This is a Cowboys defense that held the Saints to 10 points two weeks ago. What are you seeing when you look at the film of the Dallas defense? Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is our second time playing them, so... We know a little bit about, you know, what they might do. Um, so that's what we try to work on in practice. Uh, but come game time, you know, when the bullets are flying, we'll have to adjust to whatever is thrown at us. And um, I think that's what we've been doing a great job in practice of doing is adjusting to new things and, you know, kind of work on our side of the ball. How good are those linebackers? Jalen Smith, who you play with, obviously, at Notre Dame, and Van Der Esch. How, how good is that duo right there? Yeah, that's my dog uh, from Notre Dame. Um, you know, it's all love, but when we play and he, he gets it, you know, we, we're from the same place, so we both understand uh, what time it is when, when the pads get on. Um, and it's fun competing with him again. Uh, so, it, obviously, it's, it's going to be a good matchup.